Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1759, the British Museum opens for the first time. In 1764, today Frenchman Pierre Leclade settled St. Louis in what would later be the U.S. state of Missouri at the confluence of the Mississippi and the Missouri Rivers. In 1777, the U.S. state of New Connecticut declares its independence from Britain. We now call New Connecticut Vermont. In 1804, New Jersey becomes the last northern state to abolish slavery. In 1820, Susan B. Anthony, a pioneer crusader for the women's suffrage movement in the United States, was born in Adams, Massachusetts. In 1844, the University of Notre Dame receives its charter from the state of Indiana. In 1851, black abolitionists invade a Boston, Massachusetts courtroom rescuing a fugitive slave. In 1865, in the U.S., Fort Fisher in North Carolina falls to the Union, thus cutting off the last major seaport of the Confederacy. In 1869, charges of treason against Jefferson Davis are dropped. In 1870, ground is broken for the Northern Pacific Railway near Duluth, Minnesota. In 1876, the first newspaper printed in Afrikaans publishes today. In 1879, American President Rutherford B. Hayes signs a bill allowing female attorneys to argue cases before the U.S. Supreme Court. In 1889, the Pemberton Medicine Company is incorporated in Atlanta, Georgia. We now call that company Coca-Cola. In 1892, James Naismith first publishes The Rules of Basketball. In 1895, 23 centimeters or 9 inches of snow falls on Believe it or not, New Orleans, Louisiana. In 1898, the USS Maine is destroyed, causing the death of 260 American sailors, which leads to the Spanish-American War. In 1903, the first teddy bear is introduced in the United States. In 1909, the Flores Theater in Acapulco, Mexico, burns down, killing 250 people. In 1910, construction ends on the Buffalo Bill Dam in the state of Wyoming. It was the highest dam in the world at the time. In 1916, the New York Yankees buy Frank Home Run Baker from the Athletics for $37,500, or nearly $1 million in 2022 money. In 1919, a large molasses tank in Boston, Massachusetts bursts and a wave of molasses rushes through the streets, killing 21 people and injuring 150 others. In 1926, contract airmail service begins in the United States. In 1927, the silent movie It was released in American theaters. The star, Clara Bow, became Hollywood's first It Girl. In 1931, the spring training site of the New York Yankees in St. Petersburg, Florida is renamed Miller Huggins Field in honor of the team's late manager. In 1932, George Burns and Gracie Allen debut as regulars on the Guy Lombardo Show. In 1933, a 12-year-old girl experiences the first apparition of Our Lady of Banneau in Belgium. In 1936, the first building to be completely covered in glass is completed in Toledo, Ohio. Also today, in 1936, Adolf Hitler announces construction will begin of the Volkswagen Beetle. By the way, today in Parshall, North Dakota, it is minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 51 degrees Celsius. In 1941, Duke Ellington first records his huge hit, Take the A-Train. Also in 1941, the amazing Greek-American soprano Maria Callas makes her professional opera debut at the Olympia Theater in Athens, Greece. In 1943, the iconic World War II wartime propaganda poster showing a woman worker saying, we can do it, is first produced today. In 1949, excavations begin at Cave 1 of the Qumran Caves, where the first seven Dead Sea Scrolls will soon be found. In 1950, Walt Disney's animated film, Cinderella, premieres. In 1951, the evil Elsie Cook, who is also known as the Witch of Buchenwald and is the wife of the Commandant of the Buchenwald concentration camp, is sentenced to life imprisonment by a court in West Germany. In 1952, King George VI is buried in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. In 1954, American animator Matt Groening is born. He created The Simpsons. In 1956, MLB teams the Pirates and the A's 
cancel an exhibition game in Birmingham, Alabama because of a local ordinance barring black people from playing against white people. In 1961, Sabina Flight 548 crashes in Belgium, killing 73, including the entire United States figure skating team, along with several coaches and family members. In 1964, the Beatles' Meet the Beatles album goes number one and stays number one for 11 weeks. In 1965, Canada adopts its current flag showing a maple leaf. Also in 1965, American singer Nat King Cole passes away. In 1967, the first Super Bowl is played. The Green Bay Packers defeat the Kansas City Chiefs 35-10. In 1970, Muammar Gaddafi is proclaimed Premier of Libya. Also in 1970, a Dominican DC-9 crashes into the sea during takeoff from Santo Domingo, killing 102 people. In 1971, after 1,200 years, Great Britain abandons their pence and shilling system for decimal currency. In 1972, sound recordings are granted U.S. federal copyright protection for the first time. Not until 1972? That kind of amazes me. Also in 1972, the newly formed NHL franchise, the New York Islanders, hire Bill Torrey as their first general manager. In 1973, U.S. President Richard Nixon announces the suspension of offensive action in North Vietnam. In 1974, Dennis Rader, the BTK killer, murders his first victims by binding, torturing, and killing Joseph, Joseph Jr., Josephine, and Julio Taro in their home. In 1978, Leon Spinks defeated Muhammad Ali to become the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Also in 1978, escaped serial killer Ted Bundy is fortunately recaptured in Pensacola, Florida. In 1979, the 21st Grammy Awards are broadcast. Billy Joel's Just the Way You Are is a big winner. In 1986, Philadelphia at Detroit draws the largest NBA crowd to date. 44,180 fans attend. In 1987, ABC TV begins broadcasting the America miniseries. In 1989, the Soviet Union pulls all troops out of Afghanistan. In 1990, baseball owners lock out the players. In 1991, the United Nations deadline for the withdrawal of Iraqi forces from occupied Kuwait expires, preparing the way for the start of Operation Desert Storm. In 1992, the 100th episode of Cops airs on Fox tonight. Also in 1992, serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer is found sane and guilty of killing 15 men. In 1993, Salvatore Reina, the mafia boss known as The Beast, is arrested in Sicily after three decades as a fugitive. In 1995, the population of the People's Republic of China hits 1.2 billion. In 1996, NFL coach Bill Belichick is fired by Cleveland. In 1998, the 40th Daytona 500 runs today. It is Dale Earnhardt's only Daytona win in his 20th start, which snaps a 59-race winless streak. In 2000, Martin Brodeur becomes the first goaltender in NHL history to get credit for a game-winning goal as New Jersey wins 4-2 over the visiting Philadelphia Flyers. In 2001, the first draft of the complete human genome is published in Nature. Also in 2001, Wikipedia goes online. In 2002, at the Tri-State Crematory in Lafayette, Georgia, investigators find uncremated bodies disposed of in the surrounding woods and buildings on the crematorium's property. Also in 2002, and on a happier note, Walt Disney releases Return to Neverland, an animated film sequel to 1953's Peter Pan. In 2003, between 8 million and 30 million people in 600 cities around the world protest against the Iraq War, creating the largest peace demonstration in history. In 2004, the 46th Daytona 500 runs. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins exactly six years to the day after his father, Dale Earnhardt Sr. did, which I just told you about. In 2008, five months after his single-engine airplane went missing in Nevada, American adventurer Steve Fawcett was legally declared dead today. His body was discovered later in the year. In 2009, U.S. Airways Flight 1549 
makes an emergency landing in the Hudson River shortly after takeoff from LaGuardia Airport in New York City. All passengers and crew members survive. You can see the details in the Tom Hanks movie, Sully. In 2013, over 1,200 people are injured after a meteor breaks up over Chelyabinsk, Russia. In 2016, at the 58th Grammy Awards today, the best song went to Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran, and best album went to 1989 by Taylor Swift. In 2018, the first known case of a transgender woman breastfeeding is reported in the Transgender Health Journal in the United States. In 2019, U.S. President Donald Trump declares a national emergency to divert funds to build a border wall. In 2020, officials in Beijing, China order people returning to the city after the Lunar New Year holiday to self-quarantine for 14 days to prevent spread of COVID-19. In 2021, a major winter storm in the U.S. stretches from Texas to Maine. Over 3 million are without power in Texas, and the storm goes on to kill 210 people. And lastly, also in 2021, the U.K. is the first European country to require travelers from COVID hotspots to isolate in quarantine hotels. Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore had already required this. That was February 15th. We are on the back side of February now. If you haven't seen the front side of February, you should. They're right in front of you.